Well, I decided to make an update to this uh, Dutch bucket system. Uh, it's been about a month ago since I put it together and got a few things growing in it and made a few changes. <clears throat> I initially started with an external pump on here. It come off of a, a washing machine drain pump and uh, you can see I've removed that. Uh, it burned up on me and uh, not really meant to use uh, for longer than five minutes at a time you know when it goes through a drain cycle but uh, so we went with a, a submergible pump this is here is about about a, a 300 gallon per hour pump and it does the job not pumping up any height really but uh, it pumped right out the side there. Here is my return line. And uh, this cooler holds, a, it'll hold a good 20 gallons, which is, I think, enough for, for now, anyhow. If that pump comes out the back there, that pump line, I've had to reroute it since moving the external pump. It comes out the back. Get over here for you. And uh, it comes down through this uh, inline filter first. And I put an, uh, a valve right there, so if I want to pump out my reservoir, I can do that. What I would do is take this valve here and, and turn it off, block it off, and turn that valve on, and we'll, it would pump right out for me. And it comes over here and tees off, and this goes down the left side. And uh, each bucket's got its quarter inch feed. And then it goes down the right side the same way. Feed each bucket. I initially built a system for, for spring for tomatoes and decided, well, I'll put, put some in and see how, how it, uh, it's going to work out. So I put some Brussels sprouts in there, and boy, they've, they've really taken off. And real healthy looking here in southwest Florida it's about 80 degrees today nice day on uh, Pearl Harbor day and uh, things are really looking good as far as the Brussels sprouts go and I tried a little experiment on down here in the end I got a little small bucket with some onions in there and uh, this sounds odd but this media here come out of a uh, water softening tank it's some type of charcoal media or something but uh, they're rooting in there they're rooting we'll see how that works uh, pumps running 24 7 there's no there's pea gravel and all the other buckets so there's no media in there it's going to hold any moisture for any any uh, given time where you could cycle the pump off and on but uh, I think it's really going to work out fine for me. And right now we've got on the far side there, there's five buckets. And I could fit one in between each of those and make nine. I even total 18 for this setup right here. And I could expand on it. I could go back this way with two more planks. You know, and uh, maybe another 18 buckets or what have you, drain back into the reservoir. There's a lot of options for this deal. Uh, pretty good, though. Uh, you know, it, uh, it's gravity fed as far as the uh, drain. Gravity takes it right back down to the reservoir. Uh, but uh, I think she's going to work out real well for me. The uh, nutrients I've been mixing myself, and boy, it's uh, saved a lot. Uh, I'm gonna make a video on that later on how to mix that up. And I've got a few other projects I've been working on. I probably have a video soon of over here of lettuce bed. I've got some uh, yeah, a little lettuce stuck in there. and got it going quite yet, but. Uh, yeah, that's that's the update on the Dutch bucket.